Hello, how you doing yet again? Right, in this wee video I've took out some rarish stuff that I've got in my collection. I don't have a lot of ultra rare items, but I do have some very cool stuff here. So, first of all, we're going to start with this uh, Big Boss card that was released after Big Boss, but before Fist of Fury was released. History's most successful Chinese picture. So, it did come out before Fist of Fury at the screens. And it is very cool. Excellent. Picked up a few years ago there. Right, you've got that Operation Dragon thing. I've showed you that. I mean, that's the one in, uh, card that was released. It's a competition in it. When Enter the Dragon was released in France in 1974. Very cool to have that as well. 1980s belt buckle. Excellent. Uh, that was released. Dragon magazine that came out in the 70s. I think it was issue number five. You could buy that for 75 pence. I've had that since the 1970s. Right, you get the Bruce Lee medallions for the Bruce Lee JKD club. I've got three, and that's the one I picked up in 1979, 1980. I bought these two. One with the key ring and one with the chain. That's a wooden, an old wooden uh, fridge magnet. Very, very cool. And you get this Fist of Fury flyer that in Karate Amazons. Don't know the year. That's a Croatian uh, lobby card for Fury of the Dragon. Very, it's just thin paper, that's what it is. Just thin paper, but it's cool enough. Uh, this case had fanzines for a Japanese fan club. That's the case, and I've got three issues up there. I know two have got the egg. Mainly, but they're different issues altogether. Uh, I've got a great, great Dragons fan club fanzine here, Num uh, number five. Very cool, you no? Know? Uh, just a wee four page booklet. I think it was released in the 70s, I'm not too sure. Could be the early 80s, not too sure, but it's cool anyway. And you've got that fan that was released by Singapore Airlines. That's in excellent condition. That's in a nice frame. That's a flyer for Bruce Lee, the man, the legend, from the 1980s. But that's cool as well. And they were doing these. These two metal tins were released in 1982. They're Japanese, and they've got laminated cards that came with them. I know there's a lot made of them, and I'd love to get a hold of them. But they're very cool. I don't, as I say, I don't have a lot of ultra rare stuff, but stuff that I have got. That's very cool anyway. Well, thanks for watching yet again. Use a lot. Enjoy your day, whatever you're doing. And talk soon. Bye for now.